Hello and welcome to the Electric Football Hero League Standard Rules Tutorial Series. In this introductory installment, I'll explain what this is, how it came to be, and what's required to play. So if you're unfamiliar with Electric Football, it is a tabletop board game that's been around since the late 1940s. It's called Electric Football because it does require electricity to play by way of either batteries or a plug. And the rules for electric football have largely remained unchanged for the past 75 years or so, which is why there are hundreds of different electric football rule sets in existence uh, developed by players throughout the decades in a bid to shore up some of the deficiencies of the classic rule set in which the modern game has largely left behind. And about three years ago, I developed a multi-stop rule set, henceforth known as the EFHL Advanced Rules, which were designed from the ground up to simulate the actual sport of gridiron football to a high, a very high degree of realism and immersion, incorporating elements of fantasy football and role-playing games into the mix, uh, giving players individual ratings and teams their own stats, a lot of bookkeeping, um, and, of course, a multi-stop system designed to develop tasty uh, design and trick plays. And the inclusion of a lot of elements just to make it feel more real. As a result, the advanced EFHL rulebook clocks in at about 150 pages long. That's on par with the actual NFL rulebook. And uh, an advanced EFHL game takes about as long as a real football game to play. Frankly, it's about as far away from classic electric football as you can get. Uh, but since that time, um, I've been keen to explore a version of the EFHL that uh, sits somewhere between classic electric football and the advanced rules system. In fact, that's the best way to visualize it. If this end zone represents uh, the rules that come with every electric football set, and this end zone represents uh, the advanced EFHL rules, then the 50-yard line represents these standard EFHL rules. And that's the mission statement. That's the philosophy here. A happy medium between two extremes. This will allow uh, faster gameplay without all the bookkeeping, uh, while at the same time shoring up the uh, deficiencies of the classic electric football rule set while maintaining a lot of those elements of realism and immersion in the gameplay. Now, I should say that uh, the standard EFHO rules are modular, which means players are welcome to use all, some, or none of them. They're also compatible forwards and backwards with both uh, advanced EFHO rules and classic electric football rules, as we shall see. So in other words, if uh, you're playing with standard rules, but you would like to incorporate weather conditions or... Uh, player ratings or team stats or franchise player special abilities, et cetera, from the advanced rules, the standard rules absolutely support that. And vice versa. If you prefer my uh, ability uh, um, penalty check system from the standard rules over that in the advanced EFHL rules, you're more than welcome to do so. Use some, all, or none of this as you see fit, Okay. Now, a couple of quick disclaimers. Uh, the EFHL standard rules do not incorporate every single rule from the NFL rule book to the same degree that the advanced rules do. Uh, also, uh, football rules do change over time, which is why classic electric football rules are largely undesirable among the electric football community. And so the rules presented in these standard tutorial series uh, reflect the summer of 23, as of the summer of 2023, okay? Uh, rules change every single year. Sometimes they're on a one-year trial and then they go back to the old rule. Sometimes they adapt the new rule. If you're watching this in the future, uh, contemporary NFL rules may not be accounted for here, so you'll have to uh, reconcile that yourselves in future, okay? Now, required materials, and I've really pared this down from the advanced EFHL rules. Other than a functioning electric football game with bases that don't totally suck, uh, all you need to play the uh, EFHL standard rule system is a pair of six-sided dice, what you'll find in almost every board game in your closet and or attic and or basement, and a copy 
of the following chart, which what I'm going to do is just put it up on screen here for a few moments and allow viewers to pause this and copy it down. There will be no uh, physical rule book for the EFHL standard rules. So this is what we'll be using to reconcile pass attempts as well as field goal tries and point after tries. Okay, using the two six-sided dice. It's a, a target number difficulty based on distance. Okay, and that will make a lot more sense in subsequent uh, videos. But uh, feel free to pause the video and copy this down. This is uh, uh, the, the, the numbers you will need to have on hand for this. You'll also note here where my thumb is, I've uh, taken the liberty of marking down five yards and ten yards from this point, based on my own game board. Everyone's game board is a different size this day and age. Uh, so you're on your own to determine what five and 10 yards is based on your particular equipment. In the standard EFHL rules, it will be important to know uh, what five and 10 yards is from a 360 degree circle around individual players for modifiers to these dice rolls, okay? And uh, that's not important yet, but it will be in subsequent uh, videos. And uh, those are all your required materials. Now, I did mention bases that don't suck. It's, it's, it's no secret that the bases that come with every electric football game are terrible until you figure out how to improve them with tools you don't already possess. It's called tweaking bases. Not everyone can, can achieve that skill. Uh, I can highly recommend ITZ starter bases, which became available in the past few months. Uh, those work remarkably well straight out of the packaging and don't require tweaking. They work infinitely better than the bases that come with a contemporary electric football game, okay? Uh, otherwise, if, uh, if, if you're on a tight budget, uh, there are several tutorials on this channel on how to construct your own electric football bases out of cereal box cardboard and cardstock paper. And I'll be using my homemade bases for this tutorial series as well. And uh, basically, you just need bases that can achieve forward progress to play electric football anyway, uh, notwithstanding these uh, EFHL standard rules. And every electric football game should come with a, a number of felt or foam rubber uh, footballs that would normally be placed on the uh, passing and kicking action figures. We'll still use those, despite the fact we're not using those for the, the uh, we'll use the, the felt balls for different things, mainly as a ball marker for recoveries, whether it be the uh, punts or the kickoffs or fumbles, okay? That's mainly what we'll be using those for. If your set didn't come with these, uh, a little piece of cotton will work just as well for that, okay? So that's all the required materials. Now, if, if you insist on using the triple threat quarterback, the passing and kicking action figure, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. The standard EFHL rules do support that. Uh, but I prefer this dice rolling method for, for personal reasons, mainly it, uh, crawling around on the floor, looking for truant footballs is a non-starter for me <laughs> for any, any person of a certain age. And frankly, I feel like this dice rolling method is just, as realistic as the triple threat quarterback. But if you insist on using the uh, passing and kicking action figures, feel free to do so. Uh, the, I think all the procedures will be the same. Now, the advanced EFHL rules uses passing sticks, and you can use those too for the standard rules, but there will be one additional stoppage required to get to the ball once you've measured it with the passing stick, so you'll need to keep that in mind. So that is our introduction. We've covered everything. In the next installment, uh, we'll look at definitions, well, redefinitions, uh, concepts uh, that may be different from classic electric football that we'll need to discuss going into this. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.